Hey everybody, thank you for watching Night for Survival. Today we're going to be talking how a zip tie can be used in a survival situation. Stay tuned. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about zip ties. Guys, there's so many uses in survival. Let's go ahead and get started. Maybe you're out collecting material like fire tender. These dry grasses make perfect fire starting material. As you see, we zip tied these together. Makes transporting them a lot easier. Okay guys, they're definitely useful in storing your gear. Right here we have us a small lightweight fleece blanket. Very affordable option. What we've done is rolled it up and secured it with a couple zip ties. Next we can affix this to the bottom of our pack. That will save room in our pack. Next, maybe we have our one inch roll of Gorilla Tape. We could easily affix this to the top of our pack, making sure it's easily accessible. We're not gonna tighten it down all the way. However, now we can dispense tape as we need it. Maybe it's a quick rain gear repair, possibly a tarp. Next, maybe you're on the trail and you need your knife in a better location. Now, you have it where you need it, when you need it, guys. Maybe you have another tool you need and you need it accessible in quick fashion. Tighten it down. Now your multi-tool is where you need it, when you need it. Next, guys, maybe you find yourself in a pinch and you have to use the spare cordage that you use as an overstrike guard. You can use your bandana to now attach an improvised overstrike guard to protect your axe handle in the field. It'll do in a pinch. Next, maybe you're out and about and you did not prep your gear properly. You have to improvise a tie out onto your tarp. This works very well for that. Okay, so maybe you have to make your shelter really fast and you're out of cordage. We can come up to a small sapling, combine two zip ties together, run it through our makeshift grommet tie out. Makes really quick, easy work. Of our ridge line. Now we have a really quick improvised shelter. Here as you see we can take three sticks, tie them off together, make an improvised tripod, possibly hang our bottle of water so it can boil faster. Be careful, keep it away from the heat of the fire as these are plastic and are prone to fail. It can also be used to store small amounts of paracord. Say you have to sacrifice your boot lace, possibly hid paracord there ahead of time. Now you can still keep your boots in the game. Maybe your belt knife has a place to put a small ferro rod. What we've done in this case, since the shock cord would not fit through the lanyard hole, we've zip tied it to there, placing it onto the sheath. We can now lock it into place. Just a real quick hack, guys. Depending on your situation, you may need a little more reach. We've taken the swamp romper and attached it to the end of our spear. A lot of good uses so far. Maybe you've made yourself an improvised frog gig. We all know that it will split out. Here, we can take a zip tie, tighten it down below the twigs we use to expand the gig itself. This will keep it from fraying out if we were to pin down a frog. Let's keep going. Maybe you're out working and you lose a zipper pull on your jacket. 
we can make a real quick and easy fix for this. Benefits definitely when you're wearing gloves. Now we can easily get to it, find it. Also, you can lock your zippers together to prevent theft. Right here, you'll see you can take your pack axe. Maybe it doesn't fit into the molly itself. Just a couple zip ties. Wrapping through the molly that is there. We can improvise a real quick, easy way to carry our axe on our pack. Real quick, just remember to keep that axe head facing away from you. Makes it a very easy way to store our gear. Now maybe the hunting's done. It's getting dark. We can take a real quick loop and a clip on our flashlight and hang it from any obstacle. Say it's our spear or our ridge line. Now we have a quick way to have an overhead light. Here we have a Spyderco knife. It has a large thumb hole here. What we've done is added a small zip tie to the end of the ring. What this will do will assist in auto deploying this knife. As you see here, with the zip tie pointing out, we can put this into our pocket, put it back against the seam, and now when we pull out our knife, it automatically deploys. If we don't want this to happen, we can turn the zip tie down. Now we can retrieve our tool without scaring anybody. And again, flip it into the on position as I like to call it. Sliding it back into our pocket, back up against the back. We can now retrieve our knife one-handed. Of course, you definitely want to practice this a little bit beforehand, but after just a few tries and the right zip tie, it works works very well as we mentioned in previous videos it could also be used to hang a flag tighten down the zip tie if you haven't noticed that's from the budget bug out series I hope y'all go back and take a look at that they could also be used in shelter building or in this case we're gonna go ahead and modify our tripod Maybe we need a drying rack for our clothes. And like I said, this technique can be used in ribbing a shelter. All goes back into saving that cordage. Maybe your tools start to fall apart. I didn't notice at first that my belt clip on the back of this EDC style fixed blade knife had come off. However, I wanted to keep the gear together, so I zip tied it back onto the sheath. I want to point out that I'm not going to be carrying this on my belt with this improvised fix. However, it will keep the major components together. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching all these uses for zip ties in a survival situation. Of course, it can be applied to camping, bushcrafting, just everyday trail hiking, everything from gear repairs gear mods to help you carry your gear better potentially make your life easier like taking off layers cooling off while wearing gloves i appreciate you watching this thing for survival quick tip guys if you haven't already smash the like button comment down below subscribe to the channel and as always when you aim for survival don't miss